Hi, it's Adam with webstarts.com. In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can add a calendar to the web pages of your website and then set up events on that calendar. So one of the popular things to do with your website is to share times and events and locations on a calendar. So it's perfect if you have that use case and are looking to add this to your website. Before I get into the video, I'd like to invite you to tap the subscribe button and also ring the notification bell. That way you'll be the first to find out when I release a new video on search engine optimization, internet marketing, web design, and other videos similar to this. All right, let's get in. Here you can see that I've created a page, I have a calendar on it, and I've added this one event. And it's just called tryouts. And when I click on that tryouts event, it opens up a page specific to more information about the baseball tryouts that I'm holding for this example. Let me show you how I did that in the Web Starts page editor. First thing I did in the page editor is I created a page named Calendar. If you don't already have that page in your template, you can create it by clicking File, New Page, and then just simply selecting to create a blank page and naming it Calendar. Of course, I've already done that, so let's go to the next step. Next, you're going to want to add the Calendar app to your web page. You can find that in the left sidebar under the Add dropdown. So if I scroll way down here, I can find the Calendar and I can then drag that over to my page content area. I'm putting it into the body of my website. You may need to create a little bit of space uh, in order to add this calendar. And if that's the case, just drag down the footer with the dotted line, just like so. And then also I'm going to expand this calendar so you can see all of the available dates. When I'm ready to add my event, select the calendar by clicking on it and then click the edit icon attached to it and you'll see a button called Add Event. Click Add Event, and then give your event a name. So I'm gonna call mine Tryouts, and then I'm gonna select a start time. Select the month, day, year, and ultimately we'll select the time as well. So I'm selecting July 31st, I click OK, and then I'm selecting the time. I want it to be noon, so I'm gonna select 12, and that's gonna be PM, of course. And I want it to be noon exactly, so I select zero on the minutes clock and click OK. So now I have July 31st, 2021 at noon, and I want my end time to be that same day, July 31st, so I select that. Uh, but three o'clock in the afternoon, so I select three for my hour and zero for my minutes. And then here I can select a link that will appear when somebody clicks on the event. So for this example, I've created another page called Tryouts, and I'm just going to use that, but you can link to any other website. So for example, maybe you want to send people to a registration page or something like that using a different service. You could do that by selecting another website, or you could have a form on your website. You can send them to that page. Click Create Link, and that will create the link. The link is optional, so you don't need to create it. When you're ready, go ahead and click Create to finish creating the event and then update your calendar. Now you'll notice that I have here at noon on July 31st my tryouts. I'm going to save those uh, changes that I've made to my page and now you can see them on my published website. That's it for this video on showing you how to add events to your calendar on your website. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and also to visit webstarts.com to create a free website like the one you saw here.